Um, we talked about, um, I talked with you about this, about how uh, an artist has their touch on each thing when they make a piece. Mm -hmm. It's You either see the color or you see a, a, something that speaks of the artist. And I always think uh, Tony Berlant speaks of uh, these nail heads. And I often wonder if you have a, a pattern that fits into your work. You can see all the little nail mm -hmm. heads on here. Well, the pattern is just like the pattern of the brush strokes if you're painting or the pencil marks if you're drawing. It's just the rhythmic building motion. The nails are necessary to hold the thing together. So there is a pattern, but it's that kind of echo of, uh, it speaks of the unseen hand of the artist. You get that sense of the, the presence of the maker. Let, I know you, you made a lot of these houses. I guess they're called houses. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know yeah. for what you call them, but they always have little intriguing things about them. This has the, uh, it, it has uh, pancakes. Heavenly pancakes. <laughs> Heavenly Levitating pancakes. Levitating ham pancakes. <laughs> Heavenly. But take us through the process of uh, what this is, what kind of frame this is, how you start, and how you got to the pancakes. It's built over a, a wooden form, and this, this particular piece is a piece that has to do with sort of domestic experience. It has... Uh, and then how, are all the forms obviously different sizes? Because you make different size houses. Mm -hmm, yeah. Each one is individually. And then how does this, how does the metal take? Give well, us I have all there. these bits and snippets of found things that are piled up, thousands of them in my studio, as you know. It's just big heaps of junk, and I just sort of... <laughs> shuffle around in there, push through the things until I find images or color that I respond to and I put one piece down and then I go back into the piles of material and look and then I find the next thing that I respond to. And then, how and then I just put them together like that until the whole piece is some kind of presence or statement that reveals itself to me. You use tin snippers because I've seen snips. you work yeah. and you wear something on your eyes. No, just just tin snips and a hammer and and that's it's it. Very sim very, very simple uh, technique in terms of the tools. The, this work is 